Welcome to Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living with Dr. Brenda Jefferson, an apostle of the Lord who teaches in the authority of Jesus Christ through the leading of the Holy Spirit, imparting wisdom and knowledge for good success through Kingdom Living. Brought to you in part by Covenant Faith Praise and Worship Center, 9900 Brockington Road in Sherwood, Arkansas. And now, Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living with Dr. Brenda Jefferson. God bless you today. I want to take this opportunity to personally thank the listening and the viewing audience for your calls, for your emails, for your letters, glory to God. And I also want to extend an opportunity for you the listening, the viewing audience to share with us in getting the gospel, the good news out. You know, the word of the Lord says in Luke, the fifth chapter that Jesus was teaching and the Bible said that he saw two ships. And when he had finished teaching, he entered into one of those ships and he said to the disciples, he said, launch out into the deep so that you can get a great catch. The word of the Lord says that Peter said, Master, we have toiled all night long and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, we will do what you said. The Bible says that they dropped their nets and they caught a great number of fish. They caught so many fish, glory to God, that they had to call their partners in to assist them. What am I saying? And what is this passage of scripture saying? It is saying that as you sow into this ministry, as you give into the gospel of the kingdom, that how God blesses and when God blesses, empowering keys for kingdom living, God will also bless you. The Bible says that Jesus was not in the other ship, but they received the benefit because when God blessed, the ship that Peter was in, that they caught so many fish that their net began to break. They had to call their partners in to assist with the blessing because it was a net breaking, boat sinking blessing. I say to you, as you sow into empowering keys for kingdom living, God will cause the same blessings that he is showering and raining down on empowering keys, that same blessing will be yours. I look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless you today. Amen. You know, Amen. Something about yeah, so, you know. uh, when he's talking about them laying hands, mm -hmm. we have gotten away from that. Mm -hmm. I, and I don't understand mm -hmm. when the presbytery mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. in place for mm -hmm. you to be affirmed right. as an apostle. Mm -hmm. So you have novice behavior. Yeah, and you've got a lot of novice that are walking around with this arrogant attitude and saying, I don't have to submit to anyone. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be over somebody, you have to submit under. Yes, and so yes, what yes. you have is renegades, like you said, we have a renegade spirit mm -hmm. that is really, it's, it's making me mad. I'm just going to be honest with <laughs> us. I'm, I'm getting like a possible oh, yes, yeah. because I'm getting very upset with mm -hmm. this renegade behavior. God. But you know, it delays the it move delays of God. It delays the move of God. What he wants to what do in a certain region. What he wants to do in a yes. certain region. Especially wearing that title. It wearing that title. Yes. Because that title literally mm -hmm. invokes warfare that, that if you are not covered, ready for it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I admonish you that if you have a call, let that call be governed. Yes, because indeed. apostles, we govern. Yes, we yes. govern and we govern well. Yes, indeed. Yes, and indeed. so I just want to say that there is something that has hit the earth and it's just a wild spirit. Mm -hmm. And so people need to submit. You need to submit under your leadership. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Uh, Go ahead. Apostle, I have to say this because you all did it, and I had to write it down to make sure I didn't forget it. And mm -hmm. then you all came back to get it. Mm -hmm. And the key word to me is titles. Uh, mm -hmm. We have so many. If yes. you're going to use the word renegade, it's because they're they're groping after a title, yeah. and they think that the title is going to make them. But what they don't understand is that even in the earth realm. You don't receive the title until you own it. Come on. That's good. Ooh, that's, good. That's, good. That's, that's good. That's good. Right that's good. As long as you're paying for it, mm -hmm. as as paying for it mm -hmm. they hold the title. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, that's good. That's good. And so yeah. they don't want to sit under anyone. Mm -hmm. To be to submissive mm -hmm. to anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, to pay, to validate, you know, to be validated, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. sow into, yes. Uh, yes. to be a blessing, a positive, pour water on their hands. That's a part of your working your way up in 
into yes, ownership yes. to be sent out mm -hmm. to have your own ministry to have you know your own fellowship That's or whatever it. it may be you know and so the, uh, I think they're so hungry for titles until yeah. they don't want to sit and be groomed or, or properly uh, trained to go out. That's it. And then many calamities mm -hmm. on the battlefield yes. because of ill prepared. Sure. Yes. Let's talk yes. about strategies mm -hmm. to shift some things. And and I want to start with Apostle okay. Deloach shifting atmospheres, first of all, in praise and worship. You did a powerful um, teaching here on sonship. Understanding that the father passes the blessing, the inheritance to the son, not the child. There is a difference. Uh, we, we know about the tech none and we know about the we are. So there are levels of sonship. But talk how praise and worship can be involved as we shift the atmosphere, even of what's going on now. Praise and worship is one of the restorative truths of music. Um, if we're talking about restoring the apostle because it's so mm -hmm. vital and so important yes. to the church. Mm -hmm. uh, God says in Amos, in the last days I'm going to restore the tabernacle of David, of David. Yeah. which uh, has pleased him, which had fallen. Mm -hmm. And he says the reason for that, one of the prophetic reasons, he says, first of all, that they may possess. Possess what? The Edomites. Edom before they Edom. Edom. That's mm -hmm. the harvest yard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. He's restoring praise and worship, not to That's make us heart. feel good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. see, 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 the one thing that mm -hmm. we go, see, I, I could get into terminology and like some of the 73 words for praise, like yada, that I've been teaching yeah. on, and recently discovered that that word means to impregnate. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yada. We can't worship God without getting pregnant. Right. 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 A lot of times right. we go to church because we want to feel good. Mm -hmm. But God's purpose birth is control. to get, yeah. and, but His purpose <laughs> is to <laughs> reach out and bring the heart. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I was in my because it begins to break down uh, uh, spirits that have controlled the minds. Mm -hmm. It breaks down mindsets, and we, you know, we've abandoned the deliverance movement. Mm -hmm. That's another apostolic function. Yes, it but is. But God showed me when He gave me the ministry. He said, "Your apostleship is going to be in the area of praise and worship." Thank you, Lord. So He told me, He showed me how deliverance can come mm -hmm. during the praise, yes. 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 salvation can mm -hmm. come during the praise. Mm -hmm. Showed me. You talked about the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, here was something, the woman who came into the house of Simon. Simon. Yes. Jesus ex established a bread in paradise. Yeah. Yes. That nobody, the woman got right. saved mm -hmm. and nobody laid Stand hands on her. Now Same she, would, she wouldn't well. be accepted yes, in sir. some venues and some reformations today exactly. because well, she didn't come to the altar. That's, That's, right. She That's right. Nobody That's prayed right. for her. We didn't hear her confess her mm -hmm. sins. But she, the scripture says, if any man be a worshiper. Now we know that God even not sinners. That was the old saying. Mm -hmm. And that was from the blind man. Mm -hmm. But if any man be a worshiper, worshiper. him will be here. So worship, uh, apostolic worship will begin to change our churches. Church. Yes. But you and know, Apostle, uh, excuse me for cutting you off. This is just yes. the, uh, the woman at the well. And, and when you said it, nobody laid hands. Yeah. They didn't need a lap cover. Mm -hmm. Nobody anointed her. Come on. He Apostle. shifted Apostle. Apostle. her mindset. <laughs> mindset. He, he, he dealt with, I know how you used to think, uh -huh. but this is the new way of mm -hmm. thinking. And that thing so impregnated her. Oh, yeah. and, and God said, what our problem now is, we're practicing spiritual birth control. Mm -hmm. That we want to have a good feeling, yeah. but we don't want the responsibility oh, yeah. Come that on. comes with pregnancy. Right. And so what needs to happen is, just as that woman at the well, Jesus just ministered to her. Oh, yeah. He just ministered to her. He yeah. just ministered to her. And she went back and converted a whole city. Said, come see a man. I, I, I've been playing with a lot of them, but not like this one. This is one who told me everything I need to know about myself without asking me a whole lot of questions. Right. Right. And she went to the city, brought back a group of people to Jesus. Yeah. Apostolic anointing. Mm -hmm. Apostolic. And God told me that while we talk about the woman at the well, five hubs and all that, she was one of the greatest evangelists she was. Right. in the Bible. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. You talk about mm -hmm. shifted. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> changed the norm. Mm -hmm. Changed yeah. the narrative. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, shifted to break down the barriers because yes. she was not a Jew. She was a right. Samaritan. Right. Samaritan. Samaritan. She was a half-breed Jew. Right. Mm -hmm. Jesus refused mm -hmm. To be a religionist. Yes. Woo! So we gotta break the wall. We gotta break the wall. Yes, he refused to be a culturalist. Yes. yes. Because the culture said 
we don't have any dealings. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be seen talking. Mm -hmm. right. And we but, certainly should be talking to that woman. But he refused that to get something so, to that woman mm -hmm. that she needed. Uh, and, and that's what's going to allow us to reach the unreachable, that's the right. incorrigibles, right. those who have been able to come because of the old models of teaching and preaching right. and religion. We and that's it. With, uh, with, the shift, with the shift, with the shift, look at this, uh, that Jesus, with the woman with the alabaster box, mm. on behalf of yes. my sister, mm -hmm. on behalf yes. of those who said, when we have men who won't, mm -hmm. there will be a woman, woman who's that will. Yes. Yes. Because yes. the men have become sitting around the table with Jesus. Mm -hmm. They have become so calm. Comfortable with him. Oh, yeah. They have become that's so old Jesus. That's right. Yeah. We know mm -hmm. him. And mm -hmm. he did this and that, but they were common mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. But this woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. She came and broke through that and said, I get down and wash, wash your feet. feet. Yeah. You know, Look, I, what does it take? Yeah, what I does take it take? Mm -hmm. I take my glory and mm -hmm. wipe my feet yeah. with them. And, mm -hmm. and I set a fragrance off mm -hmm. in this house. I yes. ship this yes. atmosphere because this is a, a stale atmosphere mm -hmm. that we're in now. Mm -hmm. And it needs to be, take something expensive and break it and shift this atmosphere. And worship, that's what praise is. And, 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 and I'm telling you, yes, that is the key. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah. Is praise and worship yeah. because yeah. as we worship and, and the yada is to become intimate with yeah, him. Intimate. There are there are times that, and we can all testify, that we've been in service. Yes. The service has been absolutely awesome. And it is that moment, it's almost like you say, I need to be at home with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. yeah, yes. yeah. This is awesome to me. Right. So I want to encourage us, those that are viewing, those that are listening, that if you would ask God to give you, first of all, that place, yes. that place in him, and I believe that as you get that place in him, he's going to direct you to the place that you need to go. It might not see one of the things that God wants to break down is what we used to do right. and how it used to be yes. done. Yes. God said, behold, I do a new thing. Yes. And before it spring forth, I'll tell my prophets first. So the prophets are releasing the yes. word. Yes. But because of the old mindset, right. we will not shift. But in praise and worship, we can shift. You're going to say it shifts everything. Mm -hmm. I, I was just thinking, and, and this is going to go a little against the norm a little bit, but I was just thinking on the way here, I was listening to Tasha Cobbs, and she collabed with Nicki Minaj, mm -hmm. and the church just had a fit, you know, mm -hmm. and, and oh, I they, remember a fit they, they, they had a, uh -huh, a big fit things. about this, Thank and um, um, the guy that's uh, with Joe Osteen, um, I can't think of his name right now, but mm -hmm. uh, he's he's the minister Gray. there, uh, John Gray, John Gray. Mm -hmm. he said, well, who's qualified to worship? Mm. And I was thinking, like, God is doing something new, mm -hmm. and he's bringing in a harvest mm -hmm. through praise and worship, and it's mm -hmm. nothing we've ever seen. That's it. And so we have to shift our mindsets to get into this place and to go back to the, when we first got saved. Mm. You know, that we, were so that, excited. That we were so excited. But, you know, when you said that about uh, Tasha Cobb and uh, Nicki Minaj and the song and all of that, that, that's sweeping the land, one of the things that I was so reminded of, I remember when Bishop Jakes first invited Steve Harvey. Sure. Right. Right. right to mega right. fest sure and the church, church went wild right. i mean <laughs> shut him down in everything but now and i'm not saying he's here or there but i'm just saying his mindset has totally shifted yeah. he acknowledges that god is the source of his supply some of us haven't even got to that place yet we still think our jobs and other things Come have on. us there so i'm telling you i don't know what god will take to use to bring somebody in, but whatever it is, I'm asking us to embrace God's way. And I believe that God is shifting us even from king, from church to kingdom. Because kingdom, you'll sit down with the drug addict, right? Yes. And be happy. Yes. You will talk to the woman at the well. Yes. I know you had five. Yes. Months. Come on, come I know on. the sixth one that you're with now is not yours. I know all of that. But I see something in you mm -hmm. that yes. if I minister a word of deliverance to you, not only will you be changed and transformed, you will go back and transform yes. a city. Yes, yes, right. yes. So that's where we are. And we know deliverance. When deliverance comes, Jesus made the statement. If I cast out devils, in the spirit of the devil, mm -hmm. then you know I'm not who I am. Right. Mm -hmm. But if I cast out devils uh, in the spirit of God, in the spirit of who I am, mm -hmm. you know the kingdom is coming. The up kingdom. Up. The kingdom. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So he says, here's another reason, and I'm done, uh, <laughs> that he's restoring praise and worship. Woo. Now Jesus. that was in Amos. Guess what he says in Acts? Mm -hmm. He says, I'm going to restore the tabernacle of, of David, David, that the residue Let's of men 
Mm-hmm. Would seek out seek him. Seek out and look at how he's doing the different atmospheres. People who are not supposed to know him. Yes. Right. But That's when it. an anointed apostolic That's it. That's it. person of God yes, it begins is. to release, and we release the apostolic, mm-hmm. release it into the atmosphere, it changes lives, it changes people. My God. And what we're going to see is like when Jesus healed and delivered the demon, the money act, yeah. the mm-hmm. city looks around and says, Don't we used to do that. He, he's different. He's sitting up in his right mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, they used to do this, and they used to do that. That's, that's what happened that's, to them. That's what he's what waiting for. Yes. And it, it, it was that she apostolic anointing that was upon Jesus' life who did not care after he had been processed, oh, yeah. because Jesus had been processed yeah. too, yeah. after he had been processed, he did not care what people thought. That's right. right. And That's we have right. got to the first thing God did when he called me into ministry, especially being a female, he said, I must deliver you from public opinion. What yeah. people think and what they will say. All I need you to know is that I have called you. And he called me from Genesis 29 when uh, Jacob was at the well. And he looked up and he saw Rachel yes. leading her daddy's sheep. He said, you can lead my sheep. Yes. yes. And so that was enough for me. So I don't argue. I don't debate it. Glory to God. I just do what God has called me to do. And I'm telling you with the apostolic anointing that's even in this room right now, that there is a shift yes. going on yes. right now. Some people who've been asking God questions, wondering what should we do? The answer is coming to you now. God, we're going to take a break and we're going to be blessed by the ministry in song by Minister Avis Wilson. After that, we're coming back with a powerful word from the Lord. Mm. 
you have won the victory. Hallelujah, Lord. Ooh, you have won it all for me. God bless you today. I want to take this opportunity to personally thank the listening and the viewing audience for your calls, for your emails, for your letters, glory to God. And I also want to extend an opportunity for you, the listening, the viewing audience to share with us in getting the gospel, the good news out. You know, the word of the Lord says in Luke the fifth chapter that Jesus was teaching and the Bible said that he saw two ships and when he had finished teaching, he entered into one of those ships and he said to the disciples, he said, launch out into the deep so that you can get a great catch. The word of the Lord says that Peter said, master, we have toiled all night long and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, we will do what you said. The Bible says that they dropped their nets and they caught a great number of fish. They caught so many fish, glory to God, that they had to call their partners in to assist them. What am I saying and what is this passage of scripture saying? It is saying that as you sow into this ministry, as you give into the gospel of the kingdom, that how God blesses and when God blesses, empowering keys for kingdom living, God will also bless you. The Bible says that Jesus was not in the other ship, but they received the benefit because when God blessed the ship that Peter was in, that they caught so many fish that their net began to break. They had to call their partners in to assist with the blessing because it was a net breaking, boat sinking blessing. I say to you, as you sow into empowering keys for kingdom living, God will cause the same blessings that he is showering and raining down on empowering keys, that same blessing will be yours. I look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless you today. We're going to have closing remarks from everybody on the panel. Glory to God, this time has gone so fast. <laughs> Go ahead, Apostle Victor. Uh, thank you again, uh, Dr. Jefferson. It's been great to share with these other apostles. But as my closing remarks, um, and just thinking in my mind, turning what we were just sharing, I thank God that he does not uh, call the church to clone. Mm -hmm. uh, because many times we want to save a person, bring them in, and then for them to be just like us. Mm -hmm. you know, and then you don't shout like me, dance like me. Mm -hmm. Lift your hands when I lift my hand. Then mm -hmm. there's something wrong. And we will Woo. convert people over to be just like us when God mm -hmm. has uniquely uh, and distinctly made them who they are. An original, that's in not their a praise, color. that's mm -hmm. in their worship, mm -hmm. that's in their language to God. And so in that, our as apostles, our uh, arms should be wide open yes. for those who are, are diversified. Those mm -hmm. who are not just like us, but That's yet uh, God is calling to the body of Christ, calling mm -hmm. for us to lead, calling for us to minister to, calling for us to make a difference in their life. Amen. Amen. Apostle. Amen. Amen. I would say this, and I again want to thank you, uh, Dr. Brenda Jefferson, who is my mentor. Yes. And I appreciate her so much because you've set the tone for so yes. many people. Yes. You've you. impacted so many lives. And one thing that I do want to say is that I, I'm, I'm speaking prophetically what God spoke to me and began to show me as a strategy mm -hmm. uh, with what God wants to do in the apostolic movement right now is that there will be a wealth transfer. Mm -hmm. And through this wealth transfer, it's going to come from people that are in the world that our mainstream, they're, what they're going to do is that they're going to start bringing uh, gifts to the apostles' feet. Mm. And we're to dri distribute. Mm. We need to be the warehouse. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. need to become the warehouse again. Yeah. As I'm going to start with center. me, yes. a distribution center, center. Yes. Yes. as that we right. are giving yes. out to the poor. Come on. Right. Yes. We are giving out to the needy. Mm -hmm. We yes. need to be strategists and pray. And our prayers need to be is that God begin to deal with the millionaires. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. And they come and bring possessions to yes. our feet. Mm -hmm. And we distribute them rightly, rightly. to the people right. who Mm -hmm. need at them. Amen. Yes. That yes. even during hurricane seasons and different things of that nature, we're, we're the resource center. Yes, we are. Right. We are that. Yes. 
We got the 18 wheel. We got the 18 wheel. We got the doctors, the nurses, and we said first responders. We're the first responders. Yes, indeed. So I want to just encourage people of God to get Mm. on your post, and we're going to be the distribution center. Amen. 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 We receive that in Jesus' name. God bless. Mm -hmm. And my final words I'm thankful again, Apostles, for bringing this company and Mm -hmm. the Apostles together. Uh, I believe that uh, the Lord has given strategies. Uh, Mm -hmm. In Ephesians, he says, talks about um, strategies to come against the wiles of the devil, Mm -hmm. stratia, which means dealing with the mindsets again. Mm -hmm. And as we go forth, uh, as a pastor, some may be wondering, how do I get this apostolic anointing in my church? Mm -hmm. Pastors, I want to tell you, to get people who are specialists in the field, uh, in that apostolic Mm -hmm. arena, uh, the the one thing warfare suggests apostolic career. Mm -hmm. We are in our careers now. So as career persons in the body of Christ, Mm-hmm. There are things that God wants us to share with the body. I would call in people of the fivefold ministry. Yeah. I would call in apostles who have specialization yeah. in certain areas. Call mm-hmm. in the prophet. Call in the, the apostle who, uh, you know, this is not a plug for myself, but this is what I do. I teach origins. I teach uh, prophetic things that God has given me. Somebody that's gifted in the area of deliverance, call them in mm-hmm. because they Apostolic anointing affects how you do church. Yes, yes it You yes. won't do church like yes. you used to do it. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because it brings a power. It, the, the apostle is able to stir up the saints. Yes. Mm-hmm. To, to, to embrace the heavenly vision. Yes. Yes. To yes. stir up. And, and to be able to create and to bring mm-hmm. forth things and to bring forth truth that has been hidden. Mm-hmm. Yes. In, in Jeremiah's gospel, he says that uh, call on me and ask me and I will show you great and wonderful things Mm -hmm. that you have not heard. The message Bible says I will show you great and wonderful things that have been hidden Hidden. for you. Not hidden from From you. So God has given the apostle the ability to uproot and to release things that have been hidden Mm -hmm. and he's bringing bringing it forth today through the careers of these apostles. So bring them in and begin to watch your church change. Amen. 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 Wow, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I pray that you have been tremendously blessed by the Apostles Roundtable. We do this once a month, and I just believe by the unction of the Holy Ghost that these apostles will be back. As a matter of fact, I sense that God is calling an apostolic gathering for the apostles to come to just share without the cameras, without the lights, glory to God, but to share and develop strategies and release them so that change and transformation can take over the earth. Until next time, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you is my prayer. Thank you for watching Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living with Dr. Brenda Jefferson. Pastor of Covenant Faith Praise and Worship Center in Sherwood, Arkansas. Till next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you is our prayer.